I think the most important thing was that it brought a whole lot of people together from a lot of different areas. You know, people get to meet, check out other people's cars, get new ideas. I think that, that part of it's really cool. A lot of people have no idea that Volkswagen ever made a pickup. They think we cut up a mini truck and a rabbit. I wanted to do a VR6 in it, first of all. So Kevin and I dropped the motor in it, beat the crap out of it for a few weeks. Once the motor swap part was done, then I kind of had to come up with uh, an overall theme for it. My son, he's really into Hot Wheels and toy cars. So I figured this was a good way to go, make it bright and be a lot of fun for him. Overall, I think it's just an experiment in just trying new things. Besides the VR6 swap, we did a custom air suspension setup. We removed the leaf springs suspension from the back and, and did a four-link setup. We've narrowed the rear axle to tuck the wheels just right. Yeah, we shaved the bay. It's kind of a tradition <laughs> to most sport tuning. We think kind of the, one of the hardcore dubber things is heavy into the engine bay. We smooth a lot of stuff out, do a lot of detail work. The scene overall is, is pretty mixed up. I think, you know, as I get older and new new guys come onto the scene, you know, things are constantly changing. Uh, so, you know, sometimes it kind of gets watered down a little bit or, or off track, but I think overall, you know, there's, a, there's always a good group of hardcore guys doing really cool projects and bringing out new cars. One minute I get really frustrated and annoyed with it, then you see a couple of really nice cars and you get excited about it again. So, you know, sometimes you need to kind of check yourself and, and step back a little bit.